Hi, my name's Lou Wilkinson from Faraway, Indiana. Uh, today we're looking at Jack and Q-Jack control. Uh, this is just the most basic uh, overview for people that have never seen it before. Jack stands for Jack Audio Connection Kit, and Q-Jack control is the uh, GUI interface that makes it really, really easy to use, as you'll see. Uh, I mean, it's just uh, click here, click there, etc. Uh, I I got I can't tell you how many hours I have uh, trying to learn things on the internet, only to discover that I'm on some different version than what I have in my PC. So to that end, we're using Fedora uh, 19, the Karma Kernel uh, from Stanford, XCFE version 4.1 that uh, probably doesn't mean anything. Uh, as far as specifically the audio, but uh, when it comes to running the PC, lighter is better. Uh, the more horsepower we can put to the audio, the better we are. Jack uh, 1.9.9.5 and QJack Control uh, 0 0.310. Uh, now first, uh, before we do anything else, uh, we'll look at Jack and I, I want to take a look here at these parameters because these are very important. Uh, this is the uh, settings for Q Jack control, uh, which controls Jack. And if you look at number one, it shows us that we have a sample rate of 48 uh, kilohertz. Uh, hopefully you're familiar with that. We have uh, uh, 256 frames per period and two periods per buffer. The important point here is, and we'll be able to change this in various pieces of audio software and change it on the fly with Jack if we need to. But if you look down at number four, that gives us a latency of 10.7 milliseconds. I'm told that uh, a latency uh, as small as five milliseconds is audible to the human ear. I don't really notice uh, 10 milliseconds, but your mileage may vary. Uh, the point here is that if you are doing something like uh, listening to, say, a, a digital audio workstation playing along on a track, uh, you need the smallest possible latency. You certainly don't want uh, to be hearing the track a second uh, out from where it is and then and playing along with that. So in recording, uh, we try to get the latency down as small as we possibly can. And then, then once it's recorded, once we're in uh, add on effects and uh, EQ and all those kind of things. Well, you know, high latency doesn't matter. Nobody's trying to keep up with it in real time. So just be aware of that. Uh, we'll be able to change that in uh, digital audio editors and various other places. Uh, but uh, those are the controlling factors. So let's go take a look at a couple examples of how to connect Jack up in your PC to get various things done. Okay, well, let's get started. Uh, as you can see, here's here's Jack as discussed. Uh, looking at the setup, same parameters we talked about, same latency. I'll bring up messages, click it. I have messages from Jack, and notice that I have no place does it say that I have buffer overruns. Let's look at status, overrun count since last server startup zero. Uh, and I keep that there. Now, if I had overruns, I'd have to do something. Increase the latency, uh, turn off other processes in the computer, something to get some more juice uh, to the audio processes because the overruns will kill us. We, uh, uh, they won't bring the audio into your digital, digital audio workstation or whatever cleanly. And so we need to make sure through this process we have no overruns. Uh, as we make additional connections, we'll want to always check back here and see that everything is just fine. So let's let's go look at connections. You'll see right here I have uh, the background music going into the re this recording and I have my voice going into this recording and hopefully you hear me in the background music to disconnect. There's the music player, there's the recording. I've disconnected. You should only hear my voice. I connect things back, uh, you hear the background music. This whole process with Jack is exactly that easy. Uh, here are my, the things I can read sound from. Here are the things I can write sound to. Uh, I simply do just that, highlight one or the other, 
click to connect, click to, click to connect or click to disconnect. If I have a MIDI device, it'll show up down here. Same thing, I'll put it out to the system. Uh, then over here, I'll make uh, any connections I need to make. Uh, and through this whole process, uh, it's, it's just that easy to use this QJack control uh, process where we make various connections. You can stack up MIDI keyboards to synthesizers feeding into digital audio workstations all right here with, uh, with no issue. So that's pretty much it. Uh, jack, QJack control. Keep an eye on your overruns. Keep an eye on your latency if you're doing something in real time. Otherwise, uh, it's just that simple. I'll see you next time.